<laughs> all right guys so that wasn't a real gator obviously i would have probably lost my hand it was just a preserved specimen much like this skull that's mounted on the wall so i took a vacation to florida um, with my family and we stayed at the gaylord ponds resort uh, i'll tell you this place had a few impressive displays very nice enclosures they were huge um, and you can see here this one is full of gators and turtles these gators range between three and four feet i'll tell you a little bit more about them later in this video uh, but i do want to mention the first that i couldn't narrate at this place at all because of all the waterfalls and just noise of the water crashing it just made it impossible for me to narrate while i was there so i'm doing a voiceover right now the alligators in this enclosure are American alligators and I actually got to hold one which I'll show you a little bit later in this video. These guys get up to 15 feet, probably even bigger. All the ones that you see here were domestically hatched at Gatorland and they'll grow up to be about 4 to 5 feet in length at which time they'll just go back to the park and uh, Gatorland will bring smaller ones to replace those. So they're constantly on rotation. We were lucky enough to see the feeding and it looks like they're getting strips of chicken. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen pictures of my vacation, but it's just different to watch it on video. And as you can see, they're a little bit uncoordinated. In my opinion, they have three really impressive displays. What you saw earlier was the gators and the turtles. Now what you're seeing are uh, the koi pond, or I should say koi stream. This is made up of all different types of waterfalls from really high ones to ones that are trickling. And the stream, like I said, kind of just wraps around the entire building. So you pretty much see koi no matter where you are. Now you guys know I'm a fish person and I have koi myself. Um, I don't have really high quality koi. Uh, the kind that I have are pretty much the same as the ones they have. I mean, they're not super high quality, but they are very healthy looking and they are colorful so I did kind of enjoy them and you know having coffee next to that stream was definitely relaxing. I think this is a really awesome enclosure and I think they did a great job maintaining it. Oh and I actually thought all these plants were fake but I actually saw them early in the morning swapping them out and changing them out to more of a Christmassy theme. So like all the ones here you see are pretty much white and yellow. And then towards the end of my time there, they were swapping out all the plants for uh, ones that have flowers that were of red and purple colors. This place also had a few small displays like you see here. There's a turtle hatchery, there's some little guppies or mollies and uh, a couple red ear sliders. They're just stacked on each other like that, basking in the uh, what they think is the sun. They did have a few other species of snakes out on display in uh, small tanks. The Everglades rat snake. Really difficult getting footage of them because they were always, always in hiding. The king snake over here just poking his head out saying hello. And then over here we have this pine snake and to be honest this is as much I saw of him during my whole time there. And then check out these little guys getting fed. Again, they're getting fed on chicken. Um, I think they said they feed them every three or four days. And then there were about six or seven of these in this terrarium. We were pretty lucky to be the only folks there watching this. Uh, usually there's like a whole crowd. So we pretty much got all the attention and we were able to see these little guys get fed from every angle. These guys are pretty funny. They're very cute looking with their short snout and large eyes. It's the second time this year I got to hold an alligator. The first time was at Forrest Fanning's place. And that reminds me, I should probably find that footage so I can post up a video of my time at Forrest's place.
I wasn't a fan of having a rubber band around the alligator's mouth, but you know, with kids being there, I guess it was for safety reasons. My family got to touch that alligator for their very first time, and it was just interesting to see how their whole mentality changed after that very first touch. My youngest son wanted to play with them some more, but you know, they look really cute at this size, but obviously he doesn't realize that once they get to their adult size, they can take down some farm animals. Unfortunately, the little guy has to go back into his tank, but there's plenty more to see. And this is the third large impressive display. What's funny is that there was a ship in this water, and that ship was part of a restaurant that we ate at on our first night there. Now it was dark that night and I didn't even know there were fish in here. There's actually three species of fish. There's the tarpoon, there were red drum or also called redfish, and lastly there were the common snooks. I was pretty impressed with the variety of animals I saw there. I wasn't really expecting to see all of this stuff. The kids really enjoyed it and so did I, which is why I wanted to film it and bring it to you. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.